Guys, like I am in the thick of things right now, right? So, you know, international dating scene, there's a national dating scene and a local dating scene, I like to say. So, I mean, it's um, the modern day romance, yeah, 100%. I'm just lucky, I think. I mean, I've got a business, I've got my health, I don't have any kids, I don't have any ex-wives, I don't know diseases or a criminal record. How old are you? Uh, 35. 35. How do you go with juggling and have you ever, like, dated two people once? I've never, like, two times, right, but at the same time, in the same town, I won't do that. Mm -hmm. The two girls that I'd have on the go at the moment, all right, would be the one that flew over a couple of weeks ago, because I don't just wrap it up as they leave the room. I mean, it was, we had a connection, right? it was nice, but she's not a keeper. And I meet a lot of that. I meet a lot of the ones that are 80, 90 percent there. So she wanted to fly over again next weekend before I go on the show, and I said, no, 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 don't, I'm not gonna fork out the money. And the one in the UK, I actually really rate at the moment, so. But then again, they're all nothing, okay? They're all, until something happens, they're nothing. Are you full time? Meeting them, I'd have a pretty good idea pretty quickly if I was in trouble. That's what I call them. Is she in trouble? Yeah. Why in trouble? It's fucked. Like, you become vulnerable and, like, reactive and all sorts of stuff. Sensitive with their actions and sensitive with what they're saying and stuff like that, I'll become a little bitch. So, <laughs> and I just need to get it out of there. And it's often if, if they're holding out on sex. If they're holding out on sex, I'll feel like I'm throwing all my shots and then I've got nothing left. And now I'm just like working on being patient. So, oh, okay. anyway. So then when you do have sex? I'm confident again. Okay. Because- And then you're back. Well, then it's, then you've got them. I mean, yeah, effectively, it's a lockdown from that. What do you think you are like to date? I'm very entertaining to my partner from what I understand. I can probably be a bit argumentative at times. Yeah, I mean, it's an intense... When you're with me, I, I like to think it's an intense feeling anyway. Do you have deal breakers? Like, do you know what, what don't you want? All the classics. Um, like what? You guys are gonna be offended at some of the no, things no, I say. No, I trust no. Like, if I'm gonna go sit here and say cankles, then I'm in trouble with a thick-legged bird, aren't I? So, I've gotta be careful. What else? Hygiene. Hygiene is like... Uh, yeah, but I'm talking about like looking after yourself. Like, I'm not talking about the presentation of it. Purely aromas. Um, yeah, we, I mean, yeah, exactly. No, I mean, it's not as straightforward as that. I'm sure they all watch. I wouldn't date, I wouldn't think that my partner's gonna be a bird in broom right now, like my life partner. Right? The world's smaller than it's ever been, you know what I mean? I mean, I might fly to Dubai and meet some of them and stuff like that. I think part of the deal is if you fall in love with me, we'll talk about moving, and unless you have a business that makes X amount of dollars, you'll be moving to Broome.